If you haven't already done so, be sure to check out the full review of the BMW i4. You'll find that on the channel as well. This video is going to focus entirely on the range testing. As always, I use the same 246 mile test loop that starts in San Jose, California, goes down through Hollister, then along Bitterwater Valley, then back up using 101 through Salinas, etc. It's a 246 mile round trip. Elevation change is just over 1800 feet. And if you want to know all the details about testing procedures, the exact route, etc., you'll find all of that over on the website, alexandautos.com. You can always click the link down there in the description as well. It's going to be a link over to that page where we take a deep dive into the route. Now, this particular BMW i4 had the 19 inch wheel option on it. Therefore, its EPA rating was 270 miles. If you get the base 18 inch wheel, the range comes in at 301 miles. But as I discovered, I think that there really is not that big of a difference difference between these two wheel options when it comes to real world range. Now, the other thing that's interesting is that this 270 mile EPA rated vehicle, if you go onto the EPA website, fueleconomy.gov, pull up the BMW i4 and then set the slider, personalize, set the slider to 0% stop and go traffic. So 100% highway, it actually comes in with a highway range of 276 miles, which is interesting. That happens because the i4 is a little bit unusual. Unlike many EVs, the fuel economy is actually a little bit better in the EPA highway testing cycle than the EPA city testing cycle. So you get that bump there. Now, if you choose the model with the 18 inch wheel option, then you get 289 miles of highway mileage there. The battery pack in all i4 models has a usable capacity of 81.5 kilowatt hours. According to the screen on the car, I averaged 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour, but according to my own calculations, it was actually 3.6. The difference between 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour according to the display and 3.6 according to my calculation, it's likely just the difference in rounding errors there. It could be that the vehicle is rounding up a little bit more aggressively in terms of its average fuel economy. It could be that uh, the difference between displayed state of charge and actual state of charge was just ever so slightly different. But either way, we used approximately 69.28 kilowatt hours of electricity there in order to go the 246 miles. That yields, if we calculate everything out, a real world road trip range test of 289 miles in this 19 inch wheel rear wheel drive equipped I-4. The big thing here is that fuel economy is definitely impressive, especially when you consider the fact that the i4 is about a thousand pounds heavier than a base rear wheel drive model three. So with a curb weight as tested here of 4,680 pounds, the i4 is no lightweight, but it is fantastically efficient. And that's something that we also noticed when we road tested the BMW iX the week after we road tested the i4, but you'll have to wait for a different video on that. In the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and calculate these numbers out, put them up on the website where we're going to host a database of all of the road trip range test figures. And then of course you can run through this video and see all the rest of the footage for the range test in case you're curious. As always, be sure and check out the full video of the BMW i4. You'll find that on the channel. Check out Alex and Autos as well. And of course, stay tuned because again, I just drove the BMW iX and that full video is coming up really soon.